Hello children, hope you are all eagerly awaiting your English class. I can see it in your eager faces. Today we are going to see an interesting story. But before going into the story, just to refresh your mind, shall we have a session of riddles? Don't look puzzled children, I'll just ask you a set of simple questions. You just try to answer it. Okay? Are you ready children? Shall we go? Yeah. The first one is, just try children. You can catch me, but you cannot throw me. What is it children? You can catch me, but you cannot throw me. Anybody? Okay. Yeah, it's cold. We can catch the cold, but we cannot throw it away. Isn't it children? Yeah. The next one, I am clean when I am black. I am dirty when I am white. What is it children? Every day you look at it. I am clean when I am black. I am dirty when I am white. What is it children? Yeah, you are correct. That is blackboard. Okay children, the next one. I have a thousand wheels, but I don't move. Just think children, I have a thousand wheels, but I don't move. Yeah, it's a parking lot. In a parking lot, we have thousands of cars parked there, but the wheels are not moving there. Yeah, that's correct. Just one more children. Yeah. Just listen to me carefully. If you carefully listen, then only you can answer this question. Okay. Uh, students, the final one. I am the beginning of everything, the end of everywhere. I am the beginning of eternity, the end of time and space. So you listen carefully. Beginning of everything, end of everywhere. I am the beginning of eternity and the end of time and space. What is it children? Yeah, it's nothing but the letter E. As children, we'll go into the supplementary. We already saw that supplementary is meant for reading and comprehending. When you read something and when you understand it, automatically it will kindle your interest in reading. So, this supplementary part is meant to develop the habit of reading. In our days, we have parables as supplementary stories. What is a parable, children? Parable is nothing, but it's a short story with a moral in it. Similarly, in this story, the three questions you have, you can take it as a moral or some sort of idea for the art of living. So now, as children, now we are going to see the story, interesting story by Leo Tolstoy. Leo Tolstoy belongs to the 20th century. He is considered as one of the greatest authors of all time. His best known novel is War and Peace. In this uh, lesson, three questions, he is going to talk about an important factor in life. What do you consider the, as an important factor in life, children? Anybody? Yeah, it's time. So, we are going to see about time. So, before that, we have a poem, a very nice poem. I don't know the author of this poem. I have no idea. By the way, children, how will you say the word P-O-E-M? Is it poem? No, children. We should say it as poem. Okay, shall we read the poem, children? As children, we shall see the poem. One song can spark a moment. One flower can wake the dream. One tree can start a forest. One bird can herald spring. One smile begins the friendship. One hand clasp lifts a soul. One star can guide a ship at sea. One smile begins the friendship. One hand clasp lifts a soul. One star can guide a ship at sea. One word can frame the goal. One word can change a nation. One sunbeam lights a room. One candle wipes out darkness. One laugh will conquer gloom. 
One voice can speak with wisdom. One heart can know what's true. One life can make a difference. You see, it's up to you. One word can change a nation. One sunbeam lights a room. One candle wipes out darkness. One love will conquer gloom. So, what's the poem about? It's about time. The hidden theme in the poem is time. Decision is a very important thing in every one of our lives. The one second in which decisions are made is vital. This one moment can change everything. But before taking the first step, there will be hesitation in everyone's mind. But if we go on hesitating and stammer, nothing fruitful can be achieved. That's what the poem speaks about. Now, Leo Tolstoy, through this story, he is trying to convey a simple value of human life. The story is about a king who wants to know the answer of three questions, simple questions. That is, the first question is, he wants to know what is the most important time to start every action. That's the first question. And the second question, he wants to know who is the most important person in his life. And the third question is that, what is the important work? What is considered as the most important work? So, he decided to ask all the people in his kingdom. So, he made a wide announcement. He proclaimed, he proclaimed that he wants to know the answer for these three questions and if anyone who is giving the right answer will be rewarded. Children, we are using the dictionary even from our fifth standard, isn't it? Yes, I hope you all know how to refer to your dictionary. Yeah, we go through a dictionary in alphabetical order. Isn't it children? Yes. What do you mean by alphabetical order? Yes. What do you mean by alphabet? Yeah. The letters that is A, B, C, D. That are alphabet. Okay. So, we refer to a dictionary in an alphabetical order. So, as I say some hard words, you can look into your dictionary and you can tell me the meaning for those hard words. Okay. Now, I told you a new word. What's that? Proclaimed. Can you go into a dictionary? Yes. What's the meaning for the word proclaim children? Anybody? Have you find it out? Yes. Announced. So the king, he announced. If somebody who is answering these three questions, if he is satisfied with the answers, he will be rewarding them. Okay. Many people came. And many people came out with various answers. None of the answers were the same. For the first question, what's the first question children? It's about time. It's about time. So, some said that the important right time to begin an action, to find out the right time, we must draw up in advance the table of days, months and years and then we have to act accordingly to that. And others felt it is impossible to decide time. Some others said only magicians knew everything beforehand. So, they will be knowing what is the right time to begin an action. So, some people felt it is well to ask magicians. But the king was not satisfied with their answers. So, he passed on the question. That is the second question. What is the second question children? Who is the most important person? Okay, for that also the people had many answers. Some said the counselors are the important persons. And others felt priests are the important person. Some people said doctors are very important because they save our lives. And some people said soldiers are very important because they guard the country. So the king was not satisfied children. He passed the third question. He passed to the third question. What's the third question children? Yeah, it's about the important task. What is the important work? Some people said science is the most important thing in the world. So, scientists are considered to be doing the important work. 
and some others they said a religious work people really it is religion which is saving the world so religious work is considered to be important but the king once again he was not satisfied with the answers so he rewarded no one he was very sad nobody is able to give him the correct answer so what to do at last he decided he had heard about a renowned hermit who is a hermit children have you heard of a hermit yeah hermit is no one but a sage he was living in the nearby wood what do you mean by wood wood is forest all these words you can look into your dictionary and you can find out the meaning so the king he decided to meet the hermit and find out the answer but he had one problem with it that is the hermit was a very ordinary person he never met famous people he met only common people so the king the king can never go anywhere without his bodyguards and other persons but the king he went to meet the hermit all alone so he went with his bodyguards but at a point of a place stopped his bodyguards and he moved on alone to see the hermit so he neared the hermit the hermit was seriously digging the ground so as he neared the hermit the hermit looked up he was looking at him questioningly so the king he introduced him not as a king as a common man and he told the hermit i have come here to ask you three questions not ask i just want to know the answer of these three questions and he told him the three questions the hermit heard the questions he said nothing and he continued his digging it's very odd isn't it children yeah he continued to do his work without giving him any answer so the king was waiting 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 and waiting the hermit never looked up so what did the king do he just volunteered to help the hermit so the hermit he also accepted his help with thanks and now the king he took the spade in and he started to dig the ground after digging for some time the king once again looked up and asked the hermit can you answer me those three questions once again the hermit he remained calm so now he the hermit he asked the king to take rest but the king refused no i shall continue digging so the king went on digging and digging what happened the sun began to sink so now the king stuck the spade to the ground and now he is asking the hermit i have come all the way just to know the answer for these three questions but now you have never answered me just tell me one thing will you give me the answer or else i'll return the hermit he said nothing at that time they heard someone come running so both of them looked back they saw a bearded man running towards them he was having his hands on his stomach he was bleeding blood was flowing out of his stomach as soon as he came in front of them he fell on to the ground the hermit and the king they unfasten his clothing they saw a large wound on his stomach so the king washed the wound and bandaged the wound with his handkerchief and a towel given by the hermit but the blood never stopped flowing so the king and the hermit they don't know what to do so once again what they did they removed the bandage and then once again they washed it and they rebandaged it after doing it what they did they gave him some water to drink so after drinking water the man was revived so they took the man into the hut and laid him on the cot and he fell asleep so the king was looking at the man so after some time the king himself he crouched in the corner and he began to sleep why the king slept all of a sudden because from morning to evening he was very busy digging the ground so the king he slept soundly throughout the summer night in the morning came the king woke up but he was not able to recognize his surroundings what happened the king suddenly saw the man staring at him with bright eyes the king was very much confused 
But the wounded man told the king that I was your enemy. I wanted to take revenge on you. You don't know me, but it was you who executed my brother and seized his property. So I wanted to take revenge on you and I was waiting for a very long time. I happen to know that you are going to meet the hermit all alone. So I was waiting for you. But as you did not return, I came in search of you. But when I came out, your bodyguards, they recognized me and they attacked me. So I escaped from them, but I was wounded and I came running. I met you. So now only the king was able to understand. So the king, now he told the man, I'll forgive you. Not only forgiveness, but also I will return back the property to you. The man was very happy. He thanked the king and said, Okay, not only me, but my children will also serve you. So what a turning point in this story, students. Now, the king, once again, he is coming out and he is asking the hermit, Okay, I have done all the things that you are asked to do, but you have not replied the answer to my three questions. The hermit, he looked up at the king and he said, You already have the answers to the three questions. Can't you understand? The king, he is looking at him. So now the hermit is telling. For the first thing you asked is about time. So the right time yesterday, when you came to see me, I was digging. But you took pity on me and you volunteered to help me. And you started to dig the ground. Though the right time was the time that you were digging the ground. And the most important person to you at that time was me. And the most important work that you were doing was digging the ground. So at that time, that was the three important things. So afterwards, the wounded man, he came running towards us. At that time, what we did? We bandaged his wounds. So the right time was bandaging his wounds was the right time. The important person was the wounded man and the important task was saving him. If you had not took pity on me, you would have returned to the forest and you would have got killed by the man. So in life, what is the important time children? What do you understand from this students? Any guesses? What do you think is the most important time? Yeah, the most important time is present. The present time. Now is the important time. And the important person, the persons who are in front of us or with us are the important persons. And the important work is the work that we do at that time. It's very simple, isn't it children? Present time is the important time in life. Hope you have understood the story, children. Have you got any doubts, children? Okay, now, children, from the text, can you identify who said these words? Yes. The first one is, they all answered his questions differently. Who said these words, children? It's said by the narrator. The second one, how can I learn to do the right thing at the right time? Yeah, it's told by the king. The third one, now rest a while and let me work a bit. Yeah, it's told by the hermit. Okay, children, now shall we see the question and answers? Yes. What were the king's questions? Yeah, the king's questions were, what was the important time? Who was the important person in his life? And what was the most important work to do? What's the second question? Was the king satisfied with the answers? As children, was the king satisfied with the answers given by the people? No, he was not satisfied. Why children? Why he was not satisfied? Because everybody gave different answers. So he was not satisfied. Okay, coming to the third one. Who came running out of the hood? A bearded and wounded man came running out of the hood. What happened to him? Someone has attacked him and his stomach was tearing apart. Okay. 
what were the answers to the three questions? What were the correct answer to the three questions, children? Yeah, the right time is the present time. The important person is the person who is with us at that time. The important thing is doing good to the person who is with us at the right time. So this is the answer to the three questions. So from this, what do we gather? What do we gather students? Yeah, we gather that we should try to make our best by living in the present. The world is full of uncertainties. There is no use worrying about the past. If we sit on, if we sit and go on worry and worry about the past, can we change the past? Nothing can be changed. It's no harm that we plan our future. Yes, we must plan our future, but we are not sure about it. But the one thing we are most sure about it is the present. Present is the best gift given to us by God. So we should live in the present and we should try to make the best of our present. So the one thing generally understood from the story is there is nothing completely bad or good. Each and everything has two sides. If we take a coin, it has two sides. If we see the day, it has two sides, day and night. Yeah, similarly, every situation, even if we look at the situations, we have bad and good in that situation. Even now, the situation in the world seems to be too worse because of this pandemic. Yes, through this situation, we have come to realize one good thing. What's the good thing, children? That our happiness does not depend on us alone. We cannot live happily all alone. Every day we are getting up and we are eating, we are doing everything. But really, are we happy children? No, not at all. We are not able to go out. We are not able to go to shops. We are not able to go to school. Now only we are realizing our happiness depends on the happiness of others too. Only if others around us are happy, we can also live happily. So this is the good thing. So automatically, naturally, we are paying, without knowing ourselves, we are praying for the safety of the whole world. So this is the good thing that has happened through this pandemic. Do you agree with me, students? Yes. Can't live happily all alone. So we must always learn to take up the good from every unhappy events. As children, when you come tomorrow, you prepare a short speech on what you think about this pandemic. Will you do it, children? Yeah. Do you have any doubts, children, about the time, about the important person or about the important work? Once again, I repeat it, children. The important time is the present time. And the important person is the person with whom we are with. And the important work is doing good to the person who we are with. Can you follow children? Have you got any doubts? Now, if you have any doubts, you can clear it. So don't forget to prepare a short speech, just two or three sentences about the situation that we are going through now. Will you do it students? Yes. Yes children. Okay. Shall we see the fill in the blanks children? Yes. The king wanted to know the answer for dash questions. How many questions students? The king wanted to know the answer. Yes, he wanted to know the answer for three questions. Yes, correct. You are correct. Very good. The hermit lived in a dash. Where did the hermit live students? Anybody? Yeah, he lived in a wood. Very good. Wood is the correct answer. Dash widely renowned for his wisdom. What do you mean by renowned? Renowned means popular, well-known. So who was well-known for his wisdom? Yes, anybody? Can you answer me? Yeah. The hermit was well-known for his wisdom. Dash widely renowned for his wisdom. What do you mean by renowned? Renowned means famous or well-known. So what is the answer for this? Yeah, it is hermit. Hermit was widely renowned for his wisdom. Okay, the fourth one. 
the answer for the first question was to have a dash to fix a proper time for everything. If you look into your book, students, you will find the answer. They wanted to have a council of wise men to fix the time. They wanted to have a council of wise men. So, the council of wise men is the answer. Okay, the next one, dash were refer to know the right time for every action. So, some people said you can ask somebody, they will know the right time. Who are those somebody? Yeah, magicians. Why magicians were considered to know the right time? Because they are supposed to know everything beforehand. So, the answer to this question is magicians. The king decided to consult a dash. What is the answer to this question children? At last, the king, he was not satisfied with the answer of the people. So, at last, he decided to consult a widely renowned hermit. Widely renowned hermit. Okay, children. Now, as children, we shall see the poem. One song can spark a moment. One flower can wake the dream. One tree can start a forest. One bird can herald spring. One smile begins the friendship. One hand clasp lifts a soul. One star can guide a ship at sea. One word can frame the goal. One word can change a nation. One sunbeam lights a room. One candle wipes out darkness. One laugh will conquer gloom. One voice can speak with wisdom. One heart can know what's true. One life can make a difference. You see, it's up to you. One word can change a nation. One sunbeam lights a room. One candle wipes out darkness. One love will conquer gloom. Can you follow it as children? Okay then, we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow if you have any doubts, you can come to me and you can ask. Once again, I remind you, you have to prepare a short speech on the pandemic. Okay? So when you come to class tomorrow, come with that little speech. Just two or three sentences. Okay, children? I told you something about the pandemic. It is my opinion. You can come out with your opinions, children. Yes. Thank you.